Hey subscribers, so a lot of you might have had the, the brilliant idea to bring your Xbox on a vacation or just, you know, if you're staying in a hotel, you thought it'd be fun to get some gaming in, maybe hook it up to the TV to watch some Netflix. Um, however, a lot of hotels, most hotels have a secure network where you have to open up an internet browser and, uh, you know, once you're connected to their their internet, it'll redirect you to a sign-on page where you put in your room number, your last name, and uh, unfortunately that doesn't work for Xbox, uh, Xbox One. So uh, I was able to find a workaround for that, a way of kind of tricking the system. I'm going to show you how to do that. So basically what you're going to want to do is uh, have a laptop or a mobile phone that you can connect to the hotel internet. Uh, after you connect, what you're want, gonna wanna do is get the MAC address, or the Wi-Fi address, of uh, the device that you've connected to the internet. Basically, you're gonna plug that into your Xbox to make the internet at the hotel think that your Xbox is a device that's already been connected to it because Xbox won't let you open up an internet browser to uh, connect to the internet. Um, there's a few ways of doing that for a laptop. Um, it's pretty simple. What you're going to want to do is go to your start menu, type in CMD, and what you'll see pop up is cmd.exe. Click on that and it's a, basically it's a control prompt. And uh, you can type some things in there and you're, it's going to be a black screen. And you're going to want to type ipconfig slash all. So I'm going to get that pulled up right here. Okay, cmd.exe. There you go. Opens up the black screen with the white lettering. And you can see it's got some command prompts. So you're going to want to type in ipconfig slash all enter. And it's going to give you um, your MAC address along with a lot of other um, things that you don't really need to worry about, but what you will need is the physical address um, for probably the Wi-Fi, but if your hotel has a Ethernet cable, you can do the um, Ethernet, um, you know, with the cord, which would be the bottom one, but we're going to focus on the top one. You can see the physical address is the third one down, and it's that, uh, I think it's 12 letters and numbers separated by dashes. And basically what you're going to want to do is put that exact address. Yes, so basically you're going to want to copy that, that MAC address, so it's A0ABCD28941B, into your Xbox. Uh, so to do that, you just go to the settings, all settings, then go to network settings. Sorry, it's kind of blurry, but... Um, then you go to advanced settings. Well, first of all, you try to connect to the network. So you're going to set up wireless network. You'll find the, the Wi-Fi on there. Um, it's going to connect to the Wi-Fi, but you're not going to have internet access. So to get internet access, you go to advanced settings. And then down at the bottom, you'll see it's got IP settings, DNS. You're going to want to go to alternate MAC address. Click on that. And then it'll prompt you to, you know, clear or put in an alternate, and you want alternate. And it's going to ask for the MAC address. And so you're going to put the exact MAC address on your laptop. Don't put the dashes in. Just do A, 0, A, B, C, D. You know, just type in the numbers and letters, and it'll automatically put the dashes in for you after you um, put that in. Uh, once you put it in, it'll ask you to restart your Xbox. In that case, you will say yes. And then you'll see that you're connected to the internet. So you'll see I have things open over here. And I can start playing Halo. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Uh, comment if you have any questions or issues. I've tested this out in many ways and it should work. Um, if you're doing this through a mobile device like an iPhone, it's the same process except you're going to want the, it's called the Wi-Fi address. And to get that you go to settings, um, you go to 
um, about general settings and you scroll down you'll see the Wi-Fi address and you just put that same same uh, set of numbers and letters in there and should be good to go it's worked for me every time